Now that you have already known the life cycle of different organisms, let us now proceed to module 5. It's a cyclical thing. At the end of this module, you should be able to describe the effect of the different environmental condition in the life cycle of organisms and create a three-dimensional model of the life cycle of frog and a cockroach. For our review, which of the life cycle is a complete metamorphosis? Right, butterfly. Which is an incomplete metamorphosis? Very good, cockroach. How many stages does a complete metamorphosis have? That's right, four. How many stages does an incomplete metamorphosis have? Excellent! Three! Before we proceed to our lesson, let's watch Animals meet their needs in the habitat or environment in which they live, grow well, and develop. The environment is everything that surrounds and affects them. However, different environmental conditions affect not just the life of humans but also other living organisms that coexist with us in this world. Some of these environmental conditions that affect the life cycle of organisms are flood, drought, natural calamities like typhoon and volcanic eruptions, and ultraviolet rays. Activity 1 Typhoon brings flood and strong winds that can swept away plants. Frogs need enough moisture. During a drought, they hide under the mud and it makes them unable to mate with other frogs. The absence of water is a condition called drought, which interrupts frog mating. Plants are uproot when there is a strong wind and flood. The elusive opportunity to meet other frogs makes it difficult to have frog mating. Flood and drought disrupt the life cycle of most animals. Both can cause loss of lives of organisms and destroy their habitats. How does typhoon affect the life cycle of butterfly and other insects? Is it beneficial or harmful? Why? Write your answer on the answer sheet. How does volcanic eruption affect the metamorphosis of frog and other living organisms in the area? What is the effect of ultraviolet rays on the life cycle of most animals? Is it beneficial or harmful? Why? Typhoon and volcanic eruption can also disrupt the life cycle of organisms. When these calamities occur, the habitat of most animals are being destroyed and their stages of development are being disrupted. Ultraviolet rays can harm the life cycle of organisms when each stage is exposed to too much sunlight. For activity number 3, instead of creating a model, Draw a three-dimensional picture of the life cycle of frog and cockroach on the left side of your ISN to serve as your output. That's all for today. You may now answer your module. Enjoy learning!